Well, your CD collection looks shiny and costly. How much did you pay for your bad moto goosey? And how much did you spend on your black leather jacket? Is it you or your parents in this income tax bracket? Now tickets to concerts and drinking at clubs. Sometimes for music that you haven't even heard of. And how much did you pay for your rock and roll t-shirt that proves you were there that you heard of them first now how do you afford your rock and roll lifestyle how do you afford your rock and roll lifestyle how do you afford your rock and roll lifestyle What, in one or th in a few words or phrases, what comes to mind? When I think of American culture, I think of like big cities. Easy. The melting pot with a lot of different diversity, different group. I know people who think that all Americans are fat. I know people who think that all Americans are greedy. Um, I think it's very diverse. Um, there's a lot of tolerance for different cultures, and I think it seems like we're living in a time where diversity is encouraged. Everything's bigger than, you know, back in England, and it's more fun, it seems to be. More fun. Yeah. yeah. Yes, about right, really. Everything seems to be bigger and better, in a way. First thing that comes to mind is an adjective. Materialistic. Now, if you can list a few people that kind of you identify with to represent our culture as a whole. I would definitely say McDonald's. Paris Hilton. Obama. Angela Jolie. Brad Pitt. Barack Obama. Music artists. Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Celebrities are the ones that get plastered left and right. Angelina Jolie is another big one. I'd like show you some like pictures and if you could just identify them. The top right. Lady Gaga. The Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Carter. Carter. No. Um. Uh, oh, that's all right. supposed to be. Okay. Oh, it's like they try to idealize what we see. The people that they're taught to kind of idolize are terrible. On top of my head, I can't give any good example. The purpose of the interviews was to find out what was in people's collective memories. We learned that the majority mentioned celebrities. Is the reason behind this due to the mass media? For instance, it seems the media has a tendency to focus more on celebrity gossip, i.e. Tiger Woods, Balloon Boy, and Chris Brown, rather than on hard-hitting news stories. I found it pretty ironic that when we asked people who should represent our culture or our generation, they answered celebrities, but when I asked them what they thought the problem with our culture was, they also answered celebrities. While a lot of people mentioned Barack Obama representing our culture, it wasn't as much for the political status, but his celebrity status. If it were for political reasons, people would know who Joe Biden was. 